Thanks for joining us on Bloomberg Queens. I'm inside an autonomous car. It drives on its own. And it ferries people in Mysore. Well, to be precise, inside the Infosys Mysore campus. Now, to talk more about what this autonomous cart is doing at Infosys campus, I have with me Sudeep Singh. He's the Senior Vice President of Global Business Unit at Infosys. Sudeep, good to have with us. Pleasure of mine. Thank you. You know, first thing first, what is this autonomous car doing right here in Mysore? And what led to the idea of having a self-driving car? Oh, this entire journey for us uh, at Infosys on going down the autonomous technology track, which represents uh, most of the autonomous car world, started around a year and a half back because as a technology service provider, we have always taken a lot of pride in being ahead of the curve when it comes to technology. Here at Mysore campus, which is one of the most beautiful campuses in the world, we believe that this gives the perfect idyllic setting for us to explore and to develop all that we want to do when it comes to autonomous technologies. And hence, you and I are sitting right over here, uh, taking a nice ride on this particular. That's great. Product. You've also tied up with Rashi as well. Tell us about that partnership and what other kind of companies are you also in, you know, in talks with? So, Udacity Infosys partnership is a very integral part when it comes to autonomous technologies. Mm -hmm. We found them to be very enthusiastic partners who really embraced the whole concept of autonomous technologies and where we as Infosys as one of the leading technology service providers, how we want to invest in this space to make it relevant for our, for our clients make it a great thing for our employees and they worked jointly with us to construct this 20 weeks program and you know tell me something about this card that we are sitting in how much time does it really take to you know build it from scratch the cost involved and specification of this uh, card so the first decision that we took is that we wanted to take an existing infrastructure and therefore the golf cart came into being a golf cart which frankly is uh, available in all of Infosys campuses uh, many of the control systems which uh, uh, are making the golf cart run, the mechanical parts of it have been completely conceptualized, designed and then prototyped in and around the Mysore area which are coming into play. Right. So I uh, feel that in some ways we could be riding on the cheapest golf cart going around the world. We believe that there are a set of use cases across three primary industry segments that are relevant for our clients and we are proactively building those POCs on the back of the maturity that we have gained courtesy this golf cart as well as the training from Udacity that allows us to come up with concrete use cases that can be showcased in these three industries which is automotive, mining and discrete manufacturing. What about a timeline? You know, Do you have a timeline in mind about when Autonomous Tech will start at least generating revenue for the company? We definitely expect FY20, that is April 2019 mm -hmm. to March 2020, the time when we start seeing the revenues kicking in right earnest. Mm -hmm. And the year after, as a year when we really expect to be the leaders in this space because of the investments that we have made till that point in time. By the end of this financial year, that we will have a very integrated uh, autonomous golf cart ecosystem existing within Infosys across all of its campuses and we are also in looking at putting the same golf carts in some of the campuses that we are coming out in the US right so so definitely end of this financial year you can expect it